What? That's not wild money. What? Going off of that, what people? Not what people. What? Like, what makes you not want to like do work with people? There you go. I mean, if your name no good, if you're a rat. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, I don't care. I got to make money. I want some business shit. If mm-hmm. you're not a rat, I don't care. That's what time I want. No cap. That's um, that's just not no no. <laughs> yeah, I was just talking to when I was uh, interviewing Steph. I was talking to him about the whole like five one eight. Did you ever see that? The whole okay. five one eight uh, video. It was it's like a five minute video. The shit that and was going out there that they was talking. Crazy, spicy, the indictments and all that. Yeah! We don't get into shit like that. Yeah. Like, not, yeah, that's crazy. That's nasty work. I, yeah, I was that's asking him, I asked him about it, and he was like, yeah, he's a rap. So then I was, I was, I asked him, I was like, oh, well, do you think that it helps? I was like, Does, do you think that it helps, like, give, like, um, a further look into the area? Like, I mean, it definitely does, but that's not, like, you don't want that. We don't mm-hmm. want that. We not. Nah, that's not even my business, you feel me? But I'm not mm-hmm. condoning none of that. Because if that was in my situation, that's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Like, they're like, uh, just they decipher or whatever. Yeah. The, the lyrics and the music and then that, that tie in the whole, they, they say it, they, oh, they're they saying yeah. the governments and stuff. No, I don't want to say any names. Yeah, I don't want to say no names. Yeah. I don't want to say, that's why I'm just like being super vague about I'm it. I'm gangster though. You know what I mean? That shit is nasty. That's why you feel me? That's why you got to move accordingly. Yeah. Like, me, like, I've been in the system since I was 12 years old. Mm-hmm. Like, I really took losses. I really had consequences. I really know what a jail cell feel like. I really know I'm not coming home sometimes. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So, like, when you have certain shit like that, you move certain, like, ways. You feel me? Like, that's why I'm like, damn. Like, I don't know. I'm, do you, do, when, I don't, I don't know, this might be uh, personal, but what is it like? Like, you say you've been in jail and shit like that. Like, you've been locked up. Like, what is that like? Like, is it. Like, what is, like, a routine like that? Because everyone, like, when I talk to different people, they everyone has their own type of, like, imagination on what it's like, but you don't really ever know until you're actually in there. Is it, because they make it seem like, it, obviously it's not great, but some people actually be like, oh, I prefer it. Some people prefer to go back to jail than to... I mean, but you got to understand, certain people don't even live as good as they do in jail. Certain people are really fucked up in the streets, like... Why you think a lot of crackheads and shit like that, they'll, they'll do misdemeanor crimes or do mm-hmm. certain shit. So they know they're not going to be in jail long. But as soon as they start to feel sick or damn, they're going to do something. They're going to go to jail. They're going to be warm. They're going to have a place to sleep. And they're going to have three meals prepped for them and fed every day. You feel me? So, like, it's not really a loss to them. But, I mean, jail is, like, literally slavery. It's literally, like, when I was up north this time, like, I'm just walking down, you feel me, just looking up, looking, <laughs> you feel me, I'm just looking up, like, looking at the sky, forgot what they got us doing, because you got to work, you feel me, so I'm just doing a job, I'm forced to do whatever I'm doing, I'm just looking at the sky, like, never again, like, never again, and the whole time I was up north, though, I told myself, like, when I come home, I'm taking the street, I told mm-hmm. myself that every day, like, no matter what it was going to do, how long it was going to take, I'm not playing, I really made the impact in two years. Like, it took me two years, and I did everything behind me and there, you feel me? And I'm still going. Yeah. And so, that is actually, that's, like, really wild, because, like, just knowing you, the kind of person you are, you're a really cool dude. Like, <laughs> like really chill, like, you know what I mean? So, and nice. even, me. you know, even my girl, like, my girl, obviously, my, you know my girl, she's a girl. Maybe she's like, yeah, you know, I when I, when I met him, he he's actually just like really cool. Like he's, uh, he's really laid back. I just be me. You feel me? I got nothing to prove. Like a man, I'm humble. Yeah. You feel me? I'm like, I'm one of, you feel me? Those are the people you gotta watch for. Mm-hmm. You feel me? It's not the ones that talk. You feel me? Like that's what I just I got nothing to prove. Mm-hmm. Not us. Like I'm me. Anyone can have their opinion on me. They can think any way they want about me, but they're not gonna play with me, or they're not. Like, I'm literally, I literally got, I move comfortable. That's how I feel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's good because, you know, especially like out here, like you want to like keep your head low and everything like that cool. because you really never know, like. What's who, nasty right now? Yeah. The hate and envy right now, it's, it's mm-hmm. not even like for a reasoning. It's just cloud chasing at this point, you feel me? So, 
I'll be out here a lot, but everywhere I come. And I'm off road now. I'm moving sturdy. <laughs> yeah, I've been seeing you travel a lot. Yeah, I'm moving sturdy everywhere I go. We situated, so. But life is life, you feel me? My, my, my life is in God's hands. I put my life in God's hands. Oh, God. If anything will happen to me, it's going to be because of God. Mm -hmm. but, but also, just like making, you always got to make those those measurements to just make sure you're good, bro. Because, fuck that. Like, I, 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 like the main thing I'm always do is just, like, keep a, a good lookout for the homies, bro. Like, if I know, like, something is about to go down, I'd rather hit somebody else. I'm not like, yo, I won't go there, blah, 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 for whatever reason, or even just so. Like, I'm always, like, looking left and right. If it's, a, if it's somewhere you at, I'll go, though. I ain't going with that. Cause I'll be feeling, I feel good when uh, I'm you, you, yeah. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm telling you, there's a difference. Like that's the hardest shit with this shit. Like because I, I love my brothers more than I love myself. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And I'm in the shoes of people can get touched because of what I'm doing. People could be trying to harm me, and then because I'm moving, people could be harmed around me. And I, I tell myself that every day, like. I don't want that, but that can't stop me. You get what I'm saying? Like, ha, this shit got to keep rolling, you feel me? So the, the homies understand that, you feel me? Like, I, I had a, you feel me? It's like, you in it for the long run or not now? Because, you feel me, this is what we doing. Like, even if I wasn't who I am, you feel me? Knuckles burning, you feel me? Even if I was just Knuckles or, you get what I'm saying? It would still be, I'm a, I'm a rapper now. Like, this rapper ratio now of killing and just cloud chasing, and, you feel me? Like, I'm not going to be another statistic. I'm gonna make my music, I'm gonna feed my family, I'm gonna get out the way. Like, I ain't trying to step on no one's toes, I ain't in no one's business. If if you worried about me, or you hating on me, like, you got a problem. <laughs> yeah. Like, you just yeah. on me. You feel me? Like, that's how I really move. Like, anytime I ever spoke about something, it was because it was someone spoke to, to me, you feel me? Either you came at me, or you was dissing on a song, or you did something that you wasn't supposed to do, and I spoke upon it. I mean, it wasn't like I was ever cloud chasing, reaching, in no situation I've been done. So. so tell me exactly, because I know this is probably something that, because I've thought about this too, and I know it's probably something that everyone else has thought about. Like, how did you get your name? Like, why did you come up with your name, um, No Goes Bread? I'm glad that you said that, because it's crazy too. Like, I love my name, but I hate it at the end of the day. Like, I'm marketed the best way possible and shit, but it's just so authentic. Like, I'm running with it. Going on myself and that's on my throw pose. So my I got the signing numbers character, but I was just young wilding, you feel me? Like I said, I've been in the system since I was young, so I was just always wilding for respect when I was young, always fighting and shit like that. And every time I was in there, like my first not my first time when I was old enough to actually go to county for the first time I go to county, I'm just in there running around telling everybody my government. And at the time I wasn't banging enough and I was just young and chilling. They like the OGs though, they like, yo, you can't be over here telling everyone your your government, you feel me, there's rats in here, you feel me? Like you gotta move accordingly. He like shout out home. I can't even forget my son's name, that's crazy. Lob. Shout out Lob though. But he like, you knuckles. You go cool, you know, you always in here shaking, you always shaking the belly, you feel me, you knuckles. And I'm like, alright, boom. So I ran with it. I'm like, fuck it, knuckles that. You feel me? And then I'm like having to market myself. Like I said, when I first went in there, that was early, you feel me? So I get down, like, at the time, I'm trying to write, I'm like, perfect, boom, boom. At the time, I was still trying to think of my rap name, you feel me? Because I wanted to fuck with the music. I'm like, that's baby fire, you feel me? So then when I came home, I'm like, all right, Knuckles, what can I do, you feel me? When I came home, you feel me? I started fucking with the homies. I didn't want to, you feel me, do any situation in the county, but I came home, did what I did, you feel me? So I'm like, all right, I'm not marking myself. I seen Knuckles, the character, he read and banging. I'm like, yeah, red, two and two together, marking this game. So I ran with it, like, that's fine, you went on. But yeah, don't really even know how I got my name. Everyone always asks that shit, but really just being young, wilding. And he was like, yeah, don't be going around telling everyone your government. Some authentic shit, but it just happened like that. And then I kept it all the way until now. Yeah, and it sticks. It definitely sticks. It's like a memorable name. And like everything that be taking place, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Knuckle sandwiches, that's like going viral and shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, uh, that 
that's shit was funny. That's why I fuck with it too. I can say funny shit like that, but nah. That shit was just that thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you know, uh, going with like being authentic and stuff like that. Do you think? Because there's a lot, obviously, with the whole music scene now, like you know, and especially in like the, the the big like music industry, like everything, like the type of music that's pushed on people is just like straight, like you know, the the whole melodic or you know gibberish, whatever type of music, which is fine because like I I'm one, I listen to it here and there, you know what I'm saying? Like it's I, like it's not bad. Like you, especially if you lit, you know, you you just vibe. It's the best time. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying? You vibe. You know, this music industry or this shit, you lit. Yeah. We always at the club. We always be fun. Yeah, but going uh, how you rap, you rap clear, you know, punchlines, mm-hmm. you know, straight what it is, real life rap, you know what I mean? And it's crazy because it's like it's blowing up, you know what I mean? Get it on drill beat or get it on even a normal beat. Like, you have mm-hmm. normal beats as well. Don't just do drill beats. Like, but you still be talking about real shit in the streets. You know what I mean? You can hear you clearly. You know, what um, keeps you from, like, going into that other, like, genre of, like, music? Do you? I don't know. Like, that's just, like, I'm, I try to be that real with myself. Like, like when I'm writing music, like, if it's some real shit or, like, some shit that I really go through or the homies is really going through around me, it's just easy. You mm-hmm. feel me? Like, when I be trying to make them, like, party songs or them, like, or, like, all that, like, mm-hmm. I can't feel it. Like, for me to really make a record, like, I have to have some substance, some pain, some anger, something. You feel me? Like, something's got to be going on. Like, so I can just write, too, if a uh, pain shit that I've already been through and shit like that, to be cooking up and shit, and just regular life shit. But, like, I don't know. Like, I can't just talk about nothing. Like, if I'm just not talking about nothing, what the fuck am I even putting this shit out for? I listen to it. I'm not going to this was back. You know what I mean? Like, I fuck with it. But, like, me, all my music, I'm going to get out something. Even if it is on that type of vibe, I'm going to get a message from it or something out of it. Like, that's, I don't know. That's what I was trying to get. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's just going to leave a bigger impact. You feel me? Like, even on the drill records, like, trying to talk. Like, I ain't just shooting and like, making mad ad libs. You feel me? Song, these motherfuckers' songs be fired because they're ad libs. Take their ad libs off the song. Doodle. Like, <laughs> he said doodle. No, no cap though. Like, you really no. do think about it right now. On the pop and all that. Just, all that. Like, come on. Yeah, it's what's in. And, 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 and just be, and being realistic, like, you gotta take something from, like, what's trending, like, in order to, like, move your stuff up. Because, oh. you know what I mean? But I just like the fact that you, for the most part, you know, stick to your own roots and everything. Because yeah. I still, I still see you from when I like met you. It's like you mm-hmm. never change, you know what I mean? So I think that's like super cool because you're still That's what super I was wanting to do though because like, it's like, like I said, like I'm be doing and out the time and shit like that and I really do shit, you feel me? So it's like I can do the drill music but I'm not going to do it like how, you feel me? I don't want it to sound the same way. Like shit starting to sound all the same. Like I want my shit you gonna hear my shit, you gonna, it's gonna be drill and it's gonna, you gonna hear something. You're gonna mm-hmm. rap, you gonna, you feel me? gonna talk about something. Like, it's gonna be spinning the block and letting the chop and all that. You feel me? Like, trying to be a message. Yeah. Punch line, something. So, if there was like anything that you would want to, uh, like, if, out of this whole like sit down, if there was something that you want to, like, a message that you wanna tell the people, tell your audience, tell your fans, Tell people that are just tuning in, you know, what what would that be? What would you want to let them know? The clock is ticking and we right there. Like, it's, I'm telling you, if you're tapping in right now, you, um, you meant to be here for a reason. You feel me? Like, I'm going to be that artist that you going to be happy you stumbled upon. And for everyone that's, like, supportive and behind me right now, just keep pushing. I'm telling you, we right there. And I appreciate y'all. And thank all of y'all. No cap. I got a lot of shit against me right now. Like, I got the world against me. I got industry people against me. I got man, do this shit for real. Like, man, I just want to say thank you. If anything, I'd be one that said thank you. Thank God. Free life, bro. That's what I'm gonna say. Alright. All right. And you got your obviously you got your project 1997 mm-hmm. coming out. Do, do you have a specific date for I that? I'm gonna drop it on my birthday. 
know, just cause like I was just thinking about it. I was going come over here beasting. Like I'm working every day. Like right now I'm about to leave right now and go right to be searching and going in my email, going through the producers and writing. But I was gonna rush. But I'm like, let me get my, give myself like three, four months. I just dropped over the industry and let that just sit and let them. You feel me? Drop. I'm gonna still drop. See how I'm not playing. I'm gonna be dropping records, dropping videos throughout the weeks. But I got actual another album of real my time. Seriousness, December 28th. I'm jumping on my birthday. Okay. All right. Well, it was nice having you, Knuckles. I appreciate you. It was Shout nice seeing you. On the rise, too. Shout out on the rise. You know, yeah, I've known you for a while, so it's cool. It, it, you know, sitting down with you is like, it don't feel like I no do. different or nothing like that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but uh, thanks for uh, having, you know, coming over nah, and everything. I appreciate you. Yeah, shit, going all the way. Wow. Shit's lit. Yeah, definitely. Shit is lit. So, with that being said, it's your boy Vader. We out.